Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Thought Provoking Show. I'm your host, Mike. Back in the 1920s, there was some controversy over a drawing based on one particular tooth. I know some of you already might know what I'm referring to, and that is Nebraska Man. Some evolutionists claim that Nebraska Man wasn't supposed to be taken seriously. After all, it was just one tooth, and it wasn't scientific, and most scientists rejected the idea of that tooth being human. Well, I beg to differ. In the Journal of Science in 1927, they had to retract the identity of that tooth as being human. So indeed, it was taken a little bit more seriously than some evolutionists would like to think or say. Uh, which brings us up to our next segment and the main thrust of this program. The investigative claims of evolutionary science seen or not seen, and the conclusions of those observations. Let's take a look. Whales have intrigued many evolutionary scientists over the years in their attempts to find the missing links between whales and mammals. The first major hypothesis of a link between these two started with their teeth, which is sort of similar to that of Nebraska man. In this case, hyenas and whales have similar teeth, as you can see there on your screen. So scientists started drawing conclusions there must be a link between these two animals. As scientists worked on proving this hypothesis, Japanese scientists discovered similarities of genetic structure of plant-eating hippos and whales which eat meat. This, of course, created confusion and controversy because according to evolutionists, the whales appear in the fossil record 40 million years before the hippos appear in the fossil record. So here you have the fossil record claiming one thing, it was the hyena based on their teeth. Then on the other hand, you have the DNA, but the fossil record doesn't agree with this evidence. This conflicting evidence has frustrated many scientists in the field and so ends the research between the link of whales and mammals. I do like to switch gears here as I found an article of interest that I want to share with you. It was a commentary entitled Repairing Research Integrity which was published in Nature magazine on June 18, 2008. They got some feedback from this commentary, and it's very interesting, particularly by two Americans, which was perhaps the most disturbing. I'd like to share what they said, and I quote, The academic and financial rewards of calculated, cautious dishonesty on the part of some scientific leaders are, we believe, all too apparent to the junior scientists they supervise. No account of tutoring, stricter supervision, or courses in research ethics will fix this problem. Well, maybe if they had the fear of God, they would have some ethics when it comes to research. And so concludes the program today. <laughs>